hey coders welcome back to my channel so if you're new please click subscribe and if you're regular welcome back okay so as you can see by the title of the video today we're going to talk about computer science degrees is it worth getting it is the market oversaturated what do i think so i read an article about it and i saw some tiktok videos <laughs> this tiktok video right so and i thought let's have a conversation about it so you can click on the comments down below and let me know what you think right now i'm just gonna share my thoughts around that right now so as someone who went to university and then went to we think code um i think i have the best of both worlds because i feel like we think code is almost like self-taught because you're learning from your peers you get the material and you have to read you know most places require the skill a lot of people that go to university don't really have the skill yes you have the theory but there are a lot of things that you don't know i didn't i know that there was something that existed that is github but what it was about i didn't know what docker was about i didn't know and i think because for me it was worse because i only did computer science i didn't do informatics so people who did com uh, informatics i think in, in their third year they were able to work with a client so they were able they were exposed to the working environment whereas if someone is majoring in computer science and something else like mathematics or applied mathematics or some some other major that is not computer related they won't get exposed to those things that happen in the working world you only know the theory i think that's where it becomes a problem you know but i do believe that a computer science degree forms the solid foundation to get into the industry because there are a lot of things okay for me personally there are a lot of things that i hear now when i'm at work and then i'm like i know this term from somewhere but i didn't learn it at rethink code because even through rethink code i was just skimming through the articles that they would give us i wouldn't really take time and read i was just concentrating on working on the projects pushing and and whatnot and whatnot so some things would come to mind with, oh okay some daughters um um i'm structured with, oh i remember studying this at university so i do believe that it does form the solid foundation um but we can argue that um companies do require the skill so it becomes very hard when you take someone you have someone who went to we think code or is self-taught and they have the skill to build whatever and someone who went to university who just has the theory they don't have the practical experience you know i think it even goes to just engineering in general the debate between going to college or actually going to a proper university the college does provide the skill and university provides the theory and now it's like where do i go the skill gets hired more but when you have the degree you get paid more <laughs> you know there was another thing that it, the the industry is oversaturated i don't think in south africa it is oversaturated i know in america yeah things are you know but in South Africa, there's still opportunity for getting into cybersecurity, data science, artificial intelligence, and cloud computing. Like this, it's so much broad, you know? So there are opportunities there. If you're doing, and I, I in the, there was the TikTok that I just showed you, the comments there, there were people who were like, I'm so discouraged. I just registered and whatnot. And I don't think reading articles like this or should discourage you i think it should encourage you to yes you're studying this degree but what am i doing to make sure that i don't struggle when i'm here like i said in my there's another video where i, I spoke about networking and trying to get yourself into the job market that try and expose yourself to 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 these things with universities there are these things they host where you can go hackathons are very important i'm gonna do a, a video about hackathons um hackathons are really important for networking i think networking comes into play in the in this in this regard you know because when you just study you're not getting any experience you're not working anywhere you're just focusing on your studies and then at the end knowing good to each job market they require 10 years of experience after you get a degree or when you start working 
how will you get that you know so i think and it's another thing i understand that it's even hard to to ask someone in overshadow at a workplace place because they work with sensitive information they can't really expose you to the things that they work with you know so that's why i suggest that hackathons are really 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 important um who knows you can even start your have your own startup when you go to a hackathon instead of actually going to the work market and starting over so yeah that's just my two piece i'd like to hear your thoughts it's just open for conversation i'd like to hear your thoughts down below let me know what you think let me know um where do you see the future going you know because some people are like oh, are we gonna lose jobs especially because of ai we don't know where it's going you know are you gonna lose jobs should you leave whatever and branch out to data science nobody knows so yeah do um comment click like comment down below and to subscribe to my channel if you haven't subscribed until the hackathon video